With a simple model, we can show that the volume of a cube can be divided into six identical pyramids. There are lots of ways to create a cube, but we'll start with a square. Start in top view, activate rectangle, and click the first rectangle corner. Click again when you've defined a square. The next step is to rotate copy one of the square's edges to make a vertical edge. Select this edge and orbit up so that you are facing the red-blue plane. Then activate rotate. When the cursor is up in this area, the protractor is green, which means it's lying in the red-blue plane. To keep the protractor oriented this way, press and hold the shift key. With the shift key still pressed, click either endpoint of the edge you selected. Press the control key or option on the Mac, which makes a copy, then click anywhere else along the selected edge. Rotate the copied edge straight up and stop when you see 90 degrees in the angle field. You could also have just typed 90 and pressed enter. Now we know how high to make the cube. Activate the push-pull tool, click the square, and move it to the top of the vertical edge. To create the six pyramids, we need to create four new edges. Switch to X-ray view in order to see inside the cube. Activate the pencil tool, which draws edges, and click two opposite corners. Press the escape key to end this first edge. Then create the other three edges like this. Now the faces of the pyramids have been created. To show that these pyramids are identical, we'll take just one of them and copy it around to rebuild the cube. Activate the eraser and click each edge you want to erase, leaving only the top pyramid. Now we can turn off X-ray view. In order to prevent this pyramid from sticking to its copies, we could make it into a group, but we'll make it into a component instead so that we can show something very cool at the end. Select the entire pyramid by dragging a selection window around it. Right-click on any selected face and choose Make Component. Give this component any name you want and click Create. With the pyramid still selected, activate Rotate. Move the cursor so that the protractor is green and press and hold the Shift key to keep it oriented this way. Place the green protractor at the tip of the pyramid and press Control or Option to make copies. Click these two corner points to define the rotation angle. If you look in the angle field, you'll see that the rotation angle is 90 degrees. Then type 2x, which appears in the angle field also, even though it's not an angle, and press Enter. This creates two copies instead of one. To make the model a little more interesting, we'll add some color. Click the paint bucket icon, find the color you want to use, and paint each pyramid a different color. We still need three more pyramids to complete the cube. Select the one in the middle and activate rotate. This time, move your cursor so that the protractor is blue, which means it's lying flat in the red-green plane. Press and hold shift to lock this orientation, click the point at the center of the pyramids, and make one 90-degree copy. Then type 3x and press enter to complete the cube. Paint these new pyramids different colors, and the outside shape now matches exactly the cube that we created at the beginning.
Because each pyramid is a component, any changes made to one pyramid will also be made to the rest of them. We'll take advantage of this feature and make a new 3D shape. Right click on any pyramid and choose Edit Component. This opens the pyramid for editing and the other pyramids are faded in the background. We want to flip this pyramid inside out. There are a few ways to do this, but we'll rotate it using a defined rotation axis. To select the entire pyramid, which is the entire contents of the component, press Control A or Command A on the Mac. Activate Rotate, and to define the rotation axis, click and drag the mouse like this from one midpoint to another. Click any point on the face and rotate the pyramid like this, stopping when the rotation angle is 180 degrees. Of course, all of the other pyramids rotate the same way. To finish editing the component, right-click outside the pyramid and choose Close Component. We've just created a rhombic dodecahedron.